Canada's greatest export has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the Divas Champion, Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus, the true gold standard in women's competition. Yeah, but being that standard puts a big target on Trish's back. Trish Stratus just always super competitive. And all of her opponents leave the same way, stratified. It was just a matter of time, and the time has arrived. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Bianca is just so naturally gifted. It's like everything comes easy to her. She is good at everything. Without question, one of the best, most purest natural athletes we have ever seen in WWE. Don't let the swag or the finesse fool you. Bianca Belair handles her business from bell to bell like no other. <laughs> Bianca Belair here considers herself the EST of WWE, the strongest, fastest, toughest, and all-around best superstar the company has to offer. And one of the most athletic superstars to ever come out of the Performance Center. You could say her EST moniker is cocky, but there is also a strong element of truth to it. Absolutely. Miller is certainly not lacking for confidence, especially as she can often back up her claims in the ring. Yeah, then there's Trish Stratus, one of the most dominant talents to ever step foot in WWE's women's division. She's been at the top before, and she wants to be there yet again, no matter what that takes. Oh, and a gut buster! Oh, look at that torch of their opponent! Uh-oh, this isn't gonna be good! Oh, man! Absolutely brutal! Ruthless. Bianca gets rescinded right back. Fez press! Fez press! Fez yeah. press! Oh, stomping away. Open! A quick finish! Can she do it? And she kicks out. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Bianca Belair is such a dominant and athletic superstar considered the EST of WWE for many reasons, which I imagine has to be somewhat intimidating for her opponents, right, Corey? Absolutely, but the best thing about Belair is that the EST is also short for the cockiest, which I love, but it dovetails with a relative inexperience as an in-ring competitor, which a more experienced opponent can easily use to their advantage. Going for an early pin. She won't allow herself to be embarrassed this early on. She's getting fired up, ready to show her a punk. And Byron, what's up? Oh, we are about to find out. Oh, my goodness. And now looking to get it locked in. Oh, my goodness. Critical point of the matchup. It could be over right here. Can she hit? Up top high. But look at the, the well-placed elbows of force the, the counter and a great break. Connects on the kick. Oh, what a DDT. That kick will stop me in your tracks. Oh, what a shot. She's feeling the hurt here. Oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, Bill Air now trying to capitalize.
returns the favor there. Great counter. Look at Wobbly in the corner. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. Doing whatever it takes. Makes the cover. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. And a kick. Bianca expected that one. Suplex, perfect. She's starting to drag a little bit. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Oh, what a kick! Reversal! Can she capitalize? Oh, coming right to the back. Oh! Right to the back. performance. Oh, look. We're about to see it. Lamb! Lamb slam! The out-of-this-world athleticism of Bianca Belair is on display for the whole... She needed to do and came away with a strong victory. Yeah, I do not know that I could have picked a winner really at any point during this match. That just made it even more exciting, Saxton, and that is what it's all about.